to another session in the digital transformation series. Today, we are going to discuss in detail about UX with Elementor Website Builder. We have Shankar with us to help us understand about this popular website builder, its advantages, the cost involved, and much more. Welcome, Shankar. Yeah, thank you, Anusha. Happy to join for this interview. Yeah. Uh, I know many of the small business websites are built with WordPress and usage of page editors are becoming very popular. Is Elementor a full website builder? Uh, yes, WordPress is the best CMS for a small businesses and digital marketers for a quite number of years. WordPress evolution from a blogging platform to a multi-purpose website building platform did not just happen. It's been improved over the period of time with a great WordPress community-based ecosystem. Elementor is a web page builder developed to ease the usage of content editing visually without any coding skills. It became popular after 2017, just before the Gutenberg editor or WordPress 5.0 release. Elementor is a WordPress page builder, can be compatible with any WordPress themes, uh, like uh, free WordPress themes from the community, uh, with the ready-made uh, themes from many third-party players, and uh, with the custom WordPress themes, of course. Got it. When do you suggest Elementor Builder for website development? Okay. The page builder's main purpose is to ease the content editing experience and provide greater flexibility with business needs. Like apart from uh, normal text formatting and uh, grid layout systems, there are uh, marketing requirements like pop-ups, uh, videos, sliders, animations, etc. When these items are uh, becoming part of page builder, the usage is increased on both sides. When I say both sides, uh, it's with the developers for the development cases and uh, for the end customers for the maintenance uh, use cases. That said, whenever there are good designs of uh, custom theme needs uh, to be developed in WordPress and it should be easily managed and maintained by a customer after a delivery, I usually recommend the page builders and uh, my immediate choice would be Elementor. Yes, yes, understood. I have personal experience with Elementor with some websites and it has many handy features to include on the page quickly without any developer's help. As a UX consultant myself, many times I wanted to experience the design on the layouts depending on the developer's time. It increased the project timeline and reduced the intents of US, UX experiments actually. But when I work with Elementor uh, or similar tools like Elementor, I am able to uh, get many UX features for marketing needs quickly. So uh, definitely there are a plenty of R&D and use cases worked by the Elementor team, which, which is quite visible. If Elementor is just a page builder, how a small business website can make the best use of it? Okay. First, happy to hear your hands-on experience with Elementor. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, when UA, UX pros like yourself are uh, using it, then it will be a professional tool for many. Uh, that's it. We can split the usage of uh, Elementor in two levels. With developers, uh, there are many ways uh, one can make use of uh, this page builder to um, develop a great website, like um, uh, Astra WordPress theme, or many popular themes are available in the market to uh, support Elementor features, and uh, giving more add-ons uh, for Elementor use cases. And uh, there are plenty of uh, Elementor add-ons marketplaces nowadays, and uh, they are offering uh, new widgets and Elementor uh, level, uh, page level uh, widgets and short codes. And uh, these are all allowing developers to build not only a, a website, but uh, nowadays uh, they, can e they can even think of uh, a web application uh, along with the website uh, by using the Elementor uh, backend uh, system. In another level, uh, with the end customer use cases, once the website is built with Elementor, there are plenty of uh, resources available uh, like uh, documentation, 
videos, uh, tutorial uh, uh, videos, um, and uh, these are all uh, available on their community website and across uh, many agency blogs like us. Uh, yeah, about uh, these are all explaining about how to maintain their content without coding skills. So this is re this is really motivating with uh, many customer base, and uh, they are just logging in uh, via backend and uh, start uh, make use of uh, their content uh, for their marketing needs and uh, uh, all uh, of their maintenance uh, needs. So all these things are all uh, very easily possible nowadays with the end customer base. So that is also on key point uh, when we talk about Elementor kind of uh, page builders. Okay, now to the important question. What are all the cost factors a small business need to consider with Elementor based development? Okay, so uh, Elementor has four pricing plans uh, from them directly. Uh, the first uh, free plan is uh, not so useful uh, for uh, for the business case. Uh, other three plans uh, on the future side, it, it has all the same features, but only uh, it differs on the cost uh, uh, with the number of uh, deployment uh, the page builder can uh, do go with so like uh, it has personal plans it has professional and uh, agency level plans so uh, with uh, with us with uh, color whistle we ask customer to select their plans uh, with elementor system directly uh, elementor website directly on top of their plan uh, our general custom WordPress development charges will be applicable so we can build uh, websites uh, elementor websites from um, starting from eight fifty dollars to anywhere up to fifteen thousand uh, dollars with the Elementor page, uh, based uh, page builder system in the back end. Okay, okay. Now I have a tricky question. Do you overrate Elementor with other players? <laughs> uh, this is uh, difficult to answer this, but uh, definitely no. Uh, every page builder, every page builder player has their own uniqueness with their market position. We at Colorvisual and smallbusinessweb.co uh, recommending software frameworks based on our experience and uh, the needed business use cases. Uh, I hope this answer helps. <laughs> Thank you, Shankar, for answering all the questions. Hope this will help anyone who is looking for a page builder to build their website. Thank you once again. Thank you, Anusha. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, this uh, technical level interview today.